<laughs> this should be pretty pretty interesting. I like it when, when we have interesting topics to discuss or things that um just seem like it, it's rare that y'all shock me. You know what I'm saying? So for y'all to post some stuff that really shock me, um <laughs> I don't really know what to say about it. Um it's how y'all feel, it's how y'all date. It is what it is. It's what men really experience and deal with. <laughs> Okay, so I'm a, I'm gonna have a um, pretty candid discussion. Uh, I'm gonna be discussing dating with a purpose, and I'm going to also discuss pets and their impact on relationships. So I'm gonna start with the dating with the purpose. Um, it seems like whenever I touch on these these cliches, women love. Um, it always gets gets a, a, a whole lot of emotional responses, right? Um, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna read my post. I'm gonna read the post and the caption, and I'm gonna give y'all the opportunity to be able to stop me at any time and point out anything that I says that is illogical, does not make sense, does not reflect reality. Okay. Anything that I point out that sounds stupid does not make sense. Y'all have the opportunity to 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 get Terry. Y'all can y'all can embarrass me today and make me look stupid today if y'all disagree with anything that I say. So, people that date with the purpose are usually just desperate to be in a relationship. The only people that we see that say that they date with the purpose or people that are have not experienced dating success, right? When when you ask them why why they date with the purpose, it's because they're tired of wasting their time. It's tired of bad situations that didn't work out. It's tired of dating men that don't want relationships. So they're very anxious to get in a relationship. Otherwise, they wouldn't even be adamant about dating with the purpose. So I don't think that that statement's a stretch at all. If there's anybody that would like to debate that concept or that statement. Please state it now. Because I've never seen a person that's happy with their dating situation act like they're, they're adamant about dating with the purpose. Because dating already has a purpose. People that, people that are effectively dating are not pressed to date, to, to date with the purpose. The only people that I ever see suggest that are people that have dating problems. Do y'all ever hear people that are successful dating talk like that? I never have. The people that I know that are successfully dating never say it. So, so the next line, dating already has a purpose. And then I go on, go on to list the two purposes of dating. To establish an, a, ro a romantic relationship, all right? When, when a man approaches a woman, that gives him the opportunity to gauge and figure out, she, she, know, she know I don't like her platonically, otherwise I would not be hollering at her. Right? That is basic common sense when it comes to men approaching women. Men approach women that they are sexually attracted to, not women that they want to be buddies or homegirls with. Now, if you just happen to meet a man by circumstance, that is not the same thing as a man hollering at a woman. So no man ever goes to holler at a woman unless he has already established that he finds her sexually attractive and that he would fuck her if he, had, if he got the opportunity. If there's anybody that would like to debate that, do it now. Tell me how stupid I sound right now. Tell me how inaccurate that is now. Tell me anybody that has ever saw a man go holler at a woman that he did not find attractive or want to have the opportunity to fuck in the future. I'm listening. I'm looking. I'm waiting for a, a sound logical comment. I'm waiting for a sound logical rebuttal. I'm waiting for somebody to point out how what I'm saying does not make sense. I'm waiting for y'all to point out how it is not reflected in reality. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me. Has anybody in the history of men ever seen a man go holler at a woman that he did not find? I'll take that back. There can be an exception. A dude that knows a ugly fat chick that got money that wants to use her for money can approach a chick for money. So I'm, I'm the only person I know that this, that was obviously able to come up with the exception. Right? So let's just say 95% of times that a man hollers at a woman, it is because of sexual attraction. There are lames and fuck boys that don't got a place to live, that don't got shit for themselves, that do approach women that they know have their own crib, have their own car, have a place to stay. So I, I found an exception to my rule. But, but, but is it safe to say that most men approach women that they have already established that they want to fuck or that they would fuck in the future? Is it safe, to, is it safe enough? Can we, can we go ahead and all unanimously agree that, that that's generally what it means when a man approaches a woman? I mean, y'all, y'all think a man double tapping his screen means he want to fuck her. So if he approaches her and takes his time out in real life to stop her and have a conversation, can we establish that that does mean he wants to fuck her in the future? All right, let's keep it moving. So they want to establish a romantic relationship and to determine if two people are actually compatible. The reason that you go on dates, the reason that you communicate with somebody is to figure out if y'all are compatible and determine what level y'all want to take the relationship to. Y'all obviously don't want to just be homeboys and homegirls because y'all are sexually attracted to each other or there is a romantic interest. And there are several different ways that it can go from there. You can be friends with benefits. You could just be fuck buddies. You could just decide that we don't want to take it any further. We don't want to do anything. You could end up being boyfriend and girlfriend. You could end up be, being fiance and you could end up being married. There's no way to predict who you're going to end up marrying, Right? None of us have a time machine where we can just say, oh, shit, I'm going to meet my husband on December 13th. That's why I got to make sure I'm at the bar. There's no way to fucking predict when you're going to meet the person you end up with, right? Can we agree on that? Can we, can we agree that, that, that there's no way to predict what's going to happen between a man and a woman when you first meet them? Can we agree on that? I want to make sure I want to make sure I'm not saying anything that does not make sense since there's so many people that disagree since I don't know what I'm talking about since I'm since I sound so stupid. I want to make sure that every concept that I use to come up with my thoughts actually makes sense, actually reflects reality. And if y'all can find me at any point making any statement or any thought that does not reflect that. Point it out and put me on the spot instantly. Do it. Instantly point out how stupid my, my theories are. Instantly point out how stupid my, my, my dating strategies are. Point out how inaccurate my male perspective is. Okay? That's fair, right? I'm giving anybody that is watching... Anybody that you know that disagree, you can text them and join. You can, I don't give a fuck who it is. All y'all that got men that disagree, your boyfriend disagree, your husband disagree. Go find anybody that disagree and come tell them to explain how, why, why I'm so stupid or why the shit I'm saying don't make sense or reflect reality. They off today. They off today. So, so if you got all these people that disagree, get them. Get them. Go tag, go tag the motherfuckers y'all follow that post the bullshit and have them come debate me and explain to me why the shit I'm saying is not real. They off today too. Go tag them. Go on y'all's favorite pages. Go get the motherfuckers. Hey, Terry's challenging y'all right now to come dispute anything that he's posted on his page. Terry's right now disputing the idea of dating with the purpose. Please come prove him wrong. Come please your, use your expertise to, to, to show, show him how stupid he sounds. Go, go do it. Go bring your heroes to me. Go bring the hero. Go bring them. Come, come have them refute the points that I'm making. 
Come have these people that y'all tag in my posts and shit. Go get them. Go find anybody that's going to disagree with what I said and can actually bring some knowledge and some thought to it. How many of y'all know for a fact that there's not going to be anybody that comes to debate me? If you know for a fact that there's not going to be anybody to debate me, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> so now, <laughs> all right, so now let me get to my caption. Let me get, I ain't even made it to the caption yet. All right. Whenever I hear someone bragging about dating with a purpose, it's usually somebody that is actually doing everything they can to get assurances or guarantees that the situation they're currently in is headed towards a committed relationship. The people that want you to tell them where this is going or what, what's, what's happening or how you feel about marriage on the first date or up front is somebody that is trying to get a guarantee or assurance that they're not going to waste their time, that they're not going to end up hurt, that y'all not going to end up kicking it for a little while and then you, you, you're you going to decide that you don't want to fuck with them. Right? That's the only reason to do that. There's no other reason to state that because I already explained, dating already has a purpose in it. There's no need for you to tell somebody that you're dating that. So the only person that is going to do that is somebody that wants to make sure that their situation ends up in a relationship. They don't want to date nobody that's even possible. Like if that, that's why they turn off by the guy that says, man, let's see, let's see where it goes, man. I'm, I'm not looking for a relationship right now, but let's see what happens. They're turned off by that because that presents the possibility of failure to them. But it's impossible for you to get somebody to, to guarantee anything to you. That's why those people continue to struggle with their dating. Right? But let me, let me get through the caption before I, before I finish making my point. Next line. And since nobody can predict the future, it's really an impossible expectation that can never be accomplished. One person doesn't get to decide if the relationship will grow. What you experience with the person while dating is what makes your decision on if you want to take things further. So making it your purpose to make that happen really seems to be a waste of time. There is a reason the people that are usually the most satisfied with their relationships get into them when they weren't looking for it and didn't expect it to happen. That's a sign that the relationship developed naturally. How many of y'all know somebody that is engaged right now or married now that, is, it, that, that admits to you that they were shocked that they got in a relationship? Man, I was not expecting, I was perfectly cool with being single. I did not expect to be fucking engaged. That, if, if you meet somebody that tells you that they're surprised or shocked that they're in a relationship, that's usually somebody that let it happen naturally. That is somebody that dated organically because they was ha actually happy being single. They made a conscious decision to give that up because they found somebody that they really liked, that they were really compatible with. See the difference? See how somebody that is successful with dating, a man that is experiencing success with all the type of chicks that he wants, that can fuck, get pussy whenever he wants, he can, can always go holler at the type of chicks that he wants. When he decides, I found somebody that I really like that I want to give up all this other pussy for, means he really likes her. It means that she's passed all his compatibility tests. And if she stays consistent with what she's shown him, he's going to be happy. Most women don't do that. Most women drastically change once they get a commitment from a man. That's why it creates so much chaos and turmoil in relationships. If, if men, like I've seen people have stated it or worded it better than I can. Most women go into a relationship trying to change a man into what they can envision in the future. Most men go into relationships trying to make sure that that woman stays the same. Two conflicting uh, viewpoints. <laughs> 